Okay, boys, so we're back at the uh, 1008 Charlie Hantech, um, taking a look at some of the software functions. Um, the software function uh, in particular that I want to consider is actually the reference waveform setup. Um, what the reference waveform setup allows you to do is um, capture a waveform in such a manner that it's not just a screenshot. When you're first using the scope, and of course you're struggling to use just the basic functions, right? You know, you're trying to get a decent image on screen and get some detail and repetition. <clears throat> get the trigger figured out. And it's a lot, right? It is a lot to try and, there's a steep learning curve associated with a scope, even, even a basic one, or, or at least there was for me. <laughs> um, but one, once you get those basics, those fundamentals behind you, you start to think, well, what, what other tools are actually built into the software here? And um, as I said, uh, you might want to have a, a waveform here and you think, well, I'd like to have this on file so I can refer back to it in the future um, for a myriad of reasons you might want to do that, right? And what's handy, of course, is the screenshot function. Well, you just screenshot the thing and then you, you store the file in whatever folder you want in your computer and you get back to it later later date and you can use it like that and that's okay that's workable a far better approach is to actually use the uh, the reference setup on the toolbar here if you have it up it's the R icon or if you don't have the toolbar up you can uh, pull up the menu here go to setup and it's reference so let's actually pull that up and see what it says. In the reference set with the reference setup window actually opened up, boys, it gives you two options. It's basically asking you, do you want to load a reference uh, waveform or do you want to save one? So in our case, what we're going to do is save this waveform, then we'll pull it back out of the file and see how we can actually use it on screen. Let's just get the uh, time division here the same. Um, we actually have one millisecond and uh, the voltage scale is uh, the same so what we're going to do is actually save this boys it's going to ask us what what channel do you actually want selected well in our case we only have one channel so it's channel one and it's going to then open up a window saying where would you like to save it to and what would you like to actually title it you can see here just the usual right same windows kind of standard windows uh, um, approach so we'll call it 1000 Hertz. Reference, just so we can get back to it, right? And we'll save that. Save data, okay. Sure. Okay. So then you can go about your business. Let me close this window. And then you can go about your business again, doing whatever it is. Maybe it's a month later, maybe it's two minutes later. Now you want to pull your reference waveform back up. So again, go to the R icon on the toolbar. And this time, instead of saving it, we want to actually load it. So let's go load. It'll open up your, uh, your files to where you've actually saved it. If you recall, it was 1000 hertz reference. Double click it. And there it is on the screen. It's pulled up our reference waveform now. So you don't have to jockey between two screens trying to correlate the information between what you previously had and what you've saved, you know, between two different windows. Um, that's better than nothing, certainly, but you can see this offers you far more utility, right? You can actually take the reference waveform, which is uh, denoted with the R uh, enunciation on the little channel arrow there. This is the reference channel, of course. You can actually superimpose it right on your uh, right on your live uh, waveform. So far better way of actually uh, saving data and far more usable. So you can actually pull it up as well, and you can actually change it. Um, your, you see here it allows you the uh, facility to actually drag your reference waveform. Uh, there's 4,000 points of reference across the screen here, boys. There's 10 units on the Graticule, so 4,000 units. I guess that would be 400 per graticule on a horizontal plane. So um, let's just uh, let's just pick an arbitrary number here. Um, let's move at half of the 400, which would be 200, of course, and see if that actually, see if that actually works out right. What did I do? There we go, 200. 
And this actually is a bit confusing because um, if you expect to move it to the left, the reference waveform using the left arrow, <laughs> you're going to be disappointed. It's actually flipped. And the way I keep this clear in my mind is imagine you're actually moving it relative to your live data. If that makes some sense to you boys, you'll see what I mean here. So I'll actually, uh, I'll actually go one step and then see that was the left arrow I clicked there. Let me close this here just so we can get a look at it now. And can you see that I've actually stepped? I have in fact actually stepped one half graticule. So it's basically 180 degrees out of phase now. There might be an instance where you want to actually do that, right? If you're trying to move something, you're trying to reposition a, a, a transducer or a sensor of some sort in order to actually shift the position. Um, that's just a made up example, but there is occasion where this could be actually very, very handy, boys. Very handy indeed. So let me just get rid of that reference. You can turn it off just by selecting the off. And then we're back to just the the live data. So um, that's it. I'm going to try and keep this relatively brief, boys. I usually drag these things on and on and on. So that's a quick look at the reference uh, channel facility. It's far better than the actual screenshot option, which is which is fine. And I was using that previously because, again, this is a wee bit more of an advanced function. I think it, probably something you'll get a wee to a wee bit later, but very very handy and actually very simple to use once you actually take the time to understand how it actually works.